All right. Well, here we go. We're going to talk about how to find um, an orbit of a of a asteroid, Halley's Comet, actually, or comet, going around in an elliptical fa fashion around the sun. So this is one of the tough questions that we're going to deal with. Um, and so let's, uh, without further ado, let's get started. See if we can break this down and figure it out. Um, you will need your calculators for this one because we're going to have some crazy numbers, but let's see how we do. Well, what we have is Halley's Comet. Everybody knows Halley's Comet. And it has an elliptical orbit around the sun, and which is one of its foci. So when you have this, you're going to have a big old sun. Here is the foci. And then you have Halley's Comet going around here in an elliptical orbit, kind of like that, or depending on how high or how far it goes or whatnot. So here is Halley's Comet going around right there. Let me kill this comet red. There you go. So the eccentricity of the orbit is approximately 0.97. Now eccentricity, if you recall, is C over A. And we know that's equal to 0.97. OK, so eccentricity. Um, the length of the major axis of the orbit is approximately 36.18 astronomical units. So um, what we have is the major axis of the orbit is approximately that length. So the major axis is going to go like that. We'll just kind of draw it like so. Alright. And we know the major axis length is going to be 36.18. Now since the major axis is 2a equals 36.18, we know that a, this is where you might need a calculator, might not, um, is going to be 18.09. All right, units. All right, so that's from the center. Now, what we're asked to find, find an equation of the orbit, um, place the center of the orbit at the origin, and the, uh, and the place of the major on the, that axis. So, we're going to find an equation of this orbit. To do that, um, what we have is we have our focus length. We know that our center is going to be um, 18.9 units away from that. All right. So what we have right here is our A value right there. And from here to here is going to equal 18.09. All right. So we can start off by going x squared. All right, plus y squared, and we're going to set that equal to 1. We'll say that A, this is going to be horizontal, even though I drew it at an angle, we'll say this is going to be horizontal. And so we'll have our A squared. So we'll take 18.09, and we'll square that. And that's going to be our A. So now we're looking for our B squared. Now, over here, we can identify, since we have the eccentricity, and this is where we're going to figure out our other values, is that we have the eccentricity, which is 0.97. We know that C, we don't, actually we don't know, and we have our A value, which is 18.09. We're going to do now with this is we're going to help us solve for C, help us solve for C. So with that, we're going to find our C value by taking 0.97 times the quantity 18.09. All right, this is where the old calculator comes in handy. Multiply those two together. And when you get that, is that you have C is going to equal 17.5473. All right. So now we have our C value, and now we're looking for our B value so we can finish up our equation. All right. So we know from here to here, all right, so wherever the center is, it might be inside the sun, might not be inside the sun. This is not drawn to scale, just so you know. Um, but our C value is going to be 17.5473. All right, well, we know that c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So using the information that we have right here, we can find b squared by taking 17.5473. We're going to square that. We're going to take 18.09, and we're going to square that to minus b squared. Now, this definitely, you probably want to have your calculator on this puppy. So from here, we have that 17.09. We're going to square that. And that's going to give us uh, 307.9077. I'll just go over there. And we're going to subtract that from 
13.09 squared. And that's going to be 327.2481. And that's going to equal b squared. You take those two values. We're going to have a b squared value of 19.3404. So we'll take that b squared value and put it up here and find our final equation for Healy's Comet going around the sun is 19.3404, that quantity squared, and that is really horrible the way it's drawn. I apologize. Equals 1. All right. And 3404. Okay, so that's a 4 right there. All right, and that is our equation of the comet. So once again, this is kind of a standard to word problem, but taking going through and looking at all the different values, writing them out, drawing a little picture, um, understanding that our equation, its center is in the, um, the orbit is at the origin, which is at zero, zero, makes this problem doable and also allows us to help us find A and B, which we need uh, to finish our equation. So hope that helps you out. Um, watch out for flying comets, and uh, good luck on the rest of your problems.